As of four months ago, I have a new tiny little addition to the Mac and Home team. My office slash studio has been turned into a diaper change studio as well. So I wanted to do a video on the top five tips for new dads. Definitely, absolutely get an Apple Watch. This is huge. You can do uh, raise to speak, where you just bring the watch up to be vertical with your face like this, and Siri comes up and you can tell Siri what to do. I use it for timers, I use it for reminders, I use it for messages. Set timer for two minutes. Two minutes, starting now. That's how long it takes to sterilize water. Um, speaking of water, you also want to activate waterproof mode sometimes where you swipe up from the bottom of the watch and tap the little water drop thing. Uh, this basically makes the watch, you can't press anything on it. So grubby little baby hands can't delete your important calendar events. Uh, also, it protects you from uh, if you get pee on your wrist. Reminders. I don't know what has happened to my memory lately, but it's not as good. Uh, I use reminders for everything, for very basic things. Um, remind me to eat the tuna for lunch tomorrow. Done. Remind me to bake the potatoes in a week. Okay. Remind me to grind coffee at uh, 7 p.m. so it doesn't wake up the baby. Done. Remind me to start the dishwasher at uh, 10 p.m. Remind me to have a nap at 3 p.m. Okay, added. I love shared notes. I uh, have a bunch of shared notes with my wife. I specifically use the checklists on a regular basis. Um, I made another video about this, so I'm not gonna get into the technical details of how to do it, but uh, I'll give a, a link to that video from now, now, uh, but we use shared notes for shopping lists, uh, pharmacy lists, shows that we're watching because we literally can't remember what shows we are watching anymore. Um, it's a game changer. I used to make jokes about people who take millions of photos of their babies. Uh, I want to publicly apologize to those people because I am one of those people. I take a lot of photos, like really a lot of photos. Best advice I can give, the best method that I've found is to mark favorites as I go with a little heart. Um, if I don't do that, then I'm screwed. It's just an avalanche of photos to sort through later. Uh, definitely upgrade iCloud storage uh, so that they're safe in a cloud. Um, we airdrop photos at the end of the night, so I'll airdrop the best photos to my wife, she'll airdrop me her best photos. Uh, I'm stoked about the new Mac OS coming, uh, Mac OS Ventura and iOS 16, because those have the uh, family I iCloud library, family shared iCloud library, something like that. Don't even remember exactly what it's called, but it just means that now I'm gonna have a shared family photo library with my wife. So when that comes out, I will make another video about that because that will be a game changer. Um, lastly, I would say try not to share photos on WhatsApp or on uh, Facebook Messenger because the quality gets scrunched. They, they turn into tiny little compressed JPEGs. Um, I like AirDrop and iMessage for sharing photos. And last but not least, something amazing that I just learned is that you can have two different pairs of AirPods connected to one Apple TV. So my wife and I can watch our shows at uh, night in the evening and I have my AirPods connected and she has hers connected and we have amazing sound and the house is completely silent so our baby continues to sleep. If you found this helpful and you want some private Mac coaching with me or someone from my team, just head to macandhome.com slash booking. We work with people all over the world 
will help you with whatever is on your Mac problems list and you will never feel judged or shamed for whatever mess you are in. So congratulations to me slash condolences.